one of the things I was meant to do was uh, very regular updates on sort of getting the whole boat project uh, going on. That didn't really work out uh, the way that I planned it to, which kind of sucks, but that's the way things are at times. So the restoration project uh, was kind of going to happen on a weekly basis. Didn't really work out um, for a number of reasons. One, time, money and health were probably the biggest issues that I had going on with that. Um, I factored in a budget which uh, was realistic but I didn't account for the cost of the tools of the job. So the initial outlying figure that I had in mind near enough doubled because I had to get a load of tooling and uh, having to understand how those tools work were probably a big factor in that. Um, health, uh, I'm pretty open about mental health. Uh, I suffer from pretty bad depression so when shit gets me down, shit gets me really down and I usually take a couple of months in hibernation. I spent this winter uh, staying back at my old house. We are at boat. It doesn't look like a lot's been happening, but bits and pieces have been going on uh, underneath. It's still a massive building site in here, but I'm not living in here at the moment. Um, my time is spent at the old house that uh, I was staying at. Um, you can probably see by the ceiling some of the works that I'm doing right now. Uh, I've just started redoing all the headlining in the main saloon. Um, but yeah, the liverboard lifestyle, um, it's not for everyone. And I initially went in with a very gung-ho attitude towards the whole thing. What I didn't realise is the amount of work it would entail and the amount of sacrifice that I'd have to do to my lifestyle in order to get things working. Um, but I'm making a determined effort at it. Everything's starting to move forward, albeit slow. Um, any progress is better than no progress, which is quite nice. But summer's approached. Um, here on Brighton Marina, uh, everything's looking absolutely amazing out here. The sunset happening behind me, and then it's beautiful and calm. It's absolutely amazing. I did some work on some wood, so we've sanded down nicely the uh, drop boards here. Cleaned up the uh, handrails here because they were looking pretty shocking. The boat's still in the water, it's not moved at all uh, since I picked it up last year. But that is hoping to change quite soon. The Grand Tour inside uh, is still shit, to be perfectly honest. Um, but we're getting there. Say, so, all new headlining is coming around quite nicely. Say, so, reflective material, gonna back that up with some foam and then we're gonna get some nice ply and just bend and form that round because no one wants tongue and groove. Uh, that shit's relegated to the 80s. These windows have been an absolute ball ache. Uh, this wasn't my repair job actually, this was someone else's uh, previous to me picking this up. This however has been an absolute nightmare. I've had to take it out and re-bed it about six times and we're still getting leaks so we've got an underlying problem there that isn't really getting any better. So I'm just gonna take them out and replace them with uh, some acrylic and just bolt it through and through. When I need a few moments to rest up, I'll just take a little seat here. If I want to make a tea and coffee, I've got my little alcohol stove, that's looking quite nice. I've taken the fridge out, that was horrible. That didn't need to be there anymore. V-Birth is now wood storage. Um, we're getting there. Old hatch is going to be replaced very soon. I have a fantastic, can't even remember who made this one. But yeah, it's pretty decent. And then I've got some new deck seals. They're going to be pretty awesome. Plug up some of the old holes, get some new wiring looms running through, and a lovely piece of workmanship. 
ownership here, we have a beautiful frame surround for this fantastic, lovely window. So we're going to reattach this to the top end of the boat. Um, I need to make a subframe for it because it doesn't quite fit on, but that teak is amazing. I managed to get a really nice deal on some reclaimed teak. And we oiled that up quite nicely. So it's looking, I mean, the grain on it is absolutely phenomenal. So what is going to be going on is I'm not doing updates, which is shit. I, I really wanted to do updates to sort of like keep me focused and active on everything that was going on here. What I do have to do is just quit the bullshit and get on with the work. Uh, thankfully the weather's quite nice, so I'm able to get on and do the things that I need to do there. Um, and I've now got a lot more knowledge than what I did uh, from this time last year. Let's step out here, it's nice and sunny. But ultimately, and at the end of the day, um, we just have to get on with the work, stop the bullshit, and do everything that needs to be done. Uh, thankfully now I've got the knowledge, or a larger portion of knowledge, to get things underway. Um, probably spent a lot of last year just reading on how to do certain things, which was incredibly time consuming, to be perfectly honest. Uh, when you're on the internet, there's a million different ways to do things, and someone says one way is better than the other. Um, so there was a lot of conflicting information around things like that, which was actually really, really frustrating. But that all being aside, um, I've got enough to get on with right now. And uh, in doing so, I should be able to have this uh, habitable and in a much better condition um, by the end of the summer. Uh, there will be an update by the end of the summer. Um, there's no work works by works updates. There's no point in me doing that. If you want to go and see someone do a boat up, you want to check out uh, Sail Life. Mads is fucking awesome. And he knows his shit. Uh, he's got a lot more time to do uh, things like that than I have, so I fully recommend checking out his channel. Um, for me, yeah, I'm just going to get on and do my shit. Um, I know some, I know quite a few people were interested in seeing, you know, what I'd do and things like that, but ultimately I think what I can do is just get on with the stuff that I need to and uh, show you guys the results, hopefully in about two months' time. Anyway, Catch you guys later on. Have a good one.